Okay, how about this one? This one's from Serena. Serena says, at the moment, I'm feeling a seed launch. It says, my main concern is expertise. I would like to teach women to learn to have a healthier hormonal system, but all I know is self-taught and approved by my own experience. Would you recommend a course or some formal training before launching? So this is a great question. It's a difficult one to answer. And, and so um, there's this, this is so nuanced. There is this saying, fake it till you make it. And um, I'm not a big fan of that. Um, I, I'm totally not a fan of that. I, I do think that in most markets or in many markets, you just have to be a step or two or three steps ahead of someone to be able to teach. Like, let's go back to guitar. If you're, you don't have to be Eric Clapton to, to teach guitar. You just have to be a few steps ahead of the people you're teaching to be able to teach effectively. And in reality, you by being just a few steps ahead, then you are probably going to be a better teacher than if Eric Clapton was teaching because he can't remember what it's like to be a beginner. So, you know, there's a saying in the, in the land of the blind, the one-eyed man, the one-eyed person is king. And so you just have to be a few steps ahead. Now, I do think you have to be careful with this when you're, do, when you're in some areas and one of them would be like health. Another one would be dealing, helping people with their health, helping people with their money. They're, you know, helping people fly a plane. They're, that you should have a little bit more expertise, in my opinion. And so for something like this, I, I think, you know, going and making sure you get more additional training would be a good thing. And then finding one or two or three or five people to work with one-on-one, -on -one, letting them know you're teaching just from your experience and the training you've had, and then start to build up a track record with those people and then move to small groups. And, you know, the, this advice I'm giving you probably is going to, you know, exclude you from, from joining me in the product launch for the coaching program. But I think it's more important that you get good advice than that you buy from me. And that's, why, uh, Serena, I, I, I'm, I'm giving you this advice. You know, just be careful because you're, you're helping people with their bodies and their health. And, uh, and, and it's important, you know, it's not that they don't trust your experience. Just step into it slowly and build up that experience, working with people one-on-one -on -one and then and getting some more expertise. But, you know, we have Jeff Noble uh, in, in our community. And Jeff Noble teaches people parents of children who have fetal alcohol spectrum disorder, FASD, uh, which is like the most widely, I think, they take this with a grain of salt, but I'm trying to remember exactly what he said, but I think it's the most widely um, spread type of brain injury that exists, you know, more than autism even. And, and so, um, and if I'm not seeing these words perfectly, just please, forgive me, but um, Jeff is not an, Jeff Noble is not an expert in fetal alcohol spectrum disorder, but he studied it. He learned a lot about it. And so he's a lay person and he's very clear about this, but he's also now lectures around the world around it. And it's built an amazing business helping so many parents uh, just help, help these children and and live and just thrive, even though they, they're in a very challenging environment. We just recorded a podcast with them. It was an absolutely amazing, epic story. Someone who's a lay person, but has become the expert slowly, but in an amazing way. 